last weekend with the uh, arrows going down to Highlands away from home and Mamelodi Sundowns playing to a three-all draw with Amazulu. But they meet tonight at the Princess Mogogo Stadium in an attempt to rectify matters in round six of the APSA Premiership. Good evening and welcome on your World of Champions tonight as you join us here in Kormashu in Godzilla Natal. Nazimento gets himself in trouble, keepers off his line, penalty, corner, nothing. That's an interesting one. Who was talking about Rian Peterson? You, earlier on, to say, we wonder, and that is the pressure we're talking about. Look at Nazimento being put under pressure by Lorato Lamona. He tries to hit ball, the ball back to the keeper, not convincing. Of course you don't do that because he kept his eyes on the ball. Not enough power on the ball, but the presence of mind and the pace of Lorato Lamola. Why did he fall? Even the Lady Sundown seemed to be enjoying a higher line, number one. Better possession. Flopek Akana in space. Zaba will concede the corner. Brilliant from Mamelodi Sundowns. That one moment, one moment where the combination play unlocked this com very competitive adult defense you can see they were outnumbering them they had the perfect opportunity in the end it wasn't to be and another decent ball into the penalty area space for a shot side netting silver again is the perpetrator and can't blame him after what he did to amazuri not clearing their lines convincingly. You can see there's a bit of hesitancy there. The invitation was there. It was an awkward angle. Ninety seconds away from the first half stoppage time at Komashu. And uh, conditions where the pitch seems to be catching up just a little because it has been fairly moist over the last couple of days. Can deliver some ter ter terrific passes and there's one of them and there's a goal that comes from it Mabwe, i think it is that's uh, managed to knock that one in and uh, no chance for putting him feeling committed had to come at some stage to delightful, delightful pass into the penalty area and uh, lebohan Mabwe scores his second premier league goal he uh, turned 24 on monday and uh, that's a little belated birthday present but uh, melody sundowns are in front Drink to it, Coach Pizza Musimani, because this was beautiful. This sort of summer new in a mild fashion. And I say mild because watch this build up here. Switching of play, silver. Look at Langerman. The patience that he exercises before he passes the ball on to Vila, who seems to have had an awkward angle. But look at this pass. Look at the touch from Vila. On the path of that man, the Wahang Mabua doesn't disappoint. Looking for some action. Here's some action as well, and wide of the targets. It's a good effort from Bakamani. It's a tough one on the turn. He struck it viciously, but wide. I'll tell you what is exciting for me. It's the touches and the vision, the passing as well, the quick turn from Bakamani Matambi. The cherry on top would have been for him to hit the target. Everything about that ball was done so right. Ball knocked away here by Gumeri. Double save of Pakamani Maklambi. Melody Sandown threatening from that set piece. Still a chance for Liverpool Mabwe, but the referees turn things around. Now Melody Sandown looking to make a change of their own. acceleration there as well from Mamelodi Sundowns there's space in the area lovely drive all of a sudden the acceleration was terrific from the left hand side the patience from Mamelodi Sundowns in terms of string good passing you look at Langaman starting all over again you have Yane Mabunda what a release for him by Andy Lejali good block and desperate one for that matter in that box
Jeremy Misa spoke about him not having a great deal of pace, and there's a good example, and wax it past Lyle Lacay. He wasn't ready. That's all I can say. I don't think he was ready to even attempt to go for that one. Four minutes of time added on has uh, elapsed. Kirsten goes for the long throw. The keeper stays on his line. Awkwardly bouncing ball. And Ali Misa is the man who clears the danger. And the referee will blow for full time then. Remember that he's signed down to win for the first time since they put a quality victory away in Lumpo on the 8th of August. Lamont for Golden Arrows still without a home victory. Now slumped to another loss. It is the third loss of the season in six matches with two draws and a victory for Abafana Bestende. We'll see how well they can do against Chipley United over the weekend. Remember that he sundowns.